Black Cat here, and you're listening to 55.5 P.O.G.D. Don't let the kids put you in a coffin. Wow. Looking for a clever way of entertaining yourself this Halloween? Looking for something to carry over the trickster spirit? Then look no further than the faux shop in the whimsical town of Falderall. We carry all your prankster needs from rubber chickens to pig nose goggles to lava lamps. Just remember to take us with a grain of salt. Doctors are expensive, and many of their prescriptions can upset your life with unexpected side effects. Only one doctor can give you the results you seek while keeping up with your on-the-go lifestyle. Dr. Mort Cadaver has been tending to patients for years, and his skills are unrivaled. All procedures can be done same day if the parts are available. Stop by if you have a strong enough backbone. In need of a quick burial or an elaborate funeral, my trusty grave digging machine can do the trick. Speedy Grave Service of Ooga Booga will provide you with perfect size graves for all your needs with a personalized headstone to match. I understand that this is a difficult time in your life and promise fast and friendly service. Give me a howl today. You're listening to the Hassan and Graham radio show, Flightless Humans. Wasn't that a great commercial break, everyone? I hope everyone found it as entertaining and as exciting as I did. Ah, now first call. Right, I, I just uh, What's I, I I haven't found Frederick. I don't know. I don't know where he is. But I, I let's. You know what? Maybe he's just lost. And uh, maybe yeah, Frederick this... is always lost. But I well, mean... yes. I, and he well, ask him to call nah, out for help. You know what? It is about time for my uh, my mid show snack. He might be out. Oh, fetching it. Grabbing that. Yes. Oh, sure, okay. Maybe the sound you heard before was just him moving about. Could have been. Don't, All right. We don't like the word fetch, though. It makes him... Let's not use that again. All right. Uh, summon. Okay. It's, it's, I don't know if he's... Command. Command him he, to give you stuff. Okay, I don't know if that's... You're making it worse. Let's, All right. Let's take a call. I'm coming for you, Hassan. You can't hide forever. Oh, that's... Could be one of my... Dates, but you know the thing is, I, uh, I I'm right here. So if anyone, if you're looking for me, I'm, I'm right here at the studio. And, By the way, if someone is coming for us, uh, Hassan is the one that's slightly taller, has a very dark mustache, hmm. and has a swarthier voice. It's true. Not to be confused with me, a little shorter of stature, but still very muscular in my uh, advanced age. A little graying in the temples, and an adventurer's cap. That is true. So just make sure you get the right one. Why don't we take another call? You'll be calling to ask your land lovers about that shiny treasure chest you keep in your treasury. How does it be that it stays so full of gold? A pirate like myself may be interested in borrowing your technique to use on some of his own stolen booty. You know, uh, first rule of pirating mm -hmm. and privateering and ferry boat captain. Never talk about another man's treasure. Especially their booty. Number two rule. Mm -hmm. Never talk about another man's treasure. Those are rules to live by. Yeah. And I know that if you don't follow the rules at sea, you're bound to get into trouble. Oh, you'll be bound all right. Oh, yes. Uh, you want to talk a little bit about uh, lifestyle choices, sire? Oh, yes. Well, if I had my druthers, I'd rather stay on land. Sure. Sea is very tumultuous, and there's lots of bad things that can happen. You can get um, pulled into the deep by mermaids yeah. if you don't give them the proper gifts. Oh, you sure can, all right. What was that? Real deep. Oh. I don't even know the mechanics of that. Yeah. It's How funny. would that even work? Is it, they had the, there's a mucus sac that opens up underneath this reptilian belt. It is really something. You wouldn't... Yeah, it's an experience. Well, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Go ahead. I want to. All right. Yes, and 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 then of course there was uh, the time I was attacked by, uh, um, oh, you know when Alexander was lost at sea, right? Um, and then I I forgot how to swim in King's Quest one and nine. Well, things happen. Yeah. You know, I mean, you have there's only so much the brain can hold, so you know you lose skills and reacquire skills mm. over time. Yes, and being attacked by sea monsters and all the like. I prefer to stay on land where it's dry and your monsters can be outrun if you need to. Ah. I understand, you know, a lot of people do feel that way, but to me, there's nothing quite like the bracing effect of being out on the open sea. Mm -hmm. The tang of the salt of the air, the 
sound of the whip as you whip your sailors to go faster, drive the ship harder. I'm sorry, did you say you whip your... When you broadside another vessel and board them and take their booty. Uh, when Hassan, you, are you travel into other lands and you don your disguise and live amongst their people for a time. That's the way to do it. When you walk in a group of people that are all wearing the same thing that you I suddenly... I blend in like you wouldn't believe. I There was a time I spent in Italy. It, it was an amazing time of my life. I, uh, I, 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 I acquired rare works of art. I rebuilt the, the, the entire city of Roma, almost, from the ground up. Oh, yes, I've heard about this. Yes, I, I rebuilt the Colosseum. I purchased and, and I, I reinvested in the infrastructure. I heard you got a very pretty feather armor as well. I did. It's gorgeous. Wolf, wolf and feather armor. and I, 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 I'm very happy with, uh, with, with the time that I spent at sea. Oh, very nice. Yeah, for me, I keep my, my feet on dry land where I can throw a cobbler at someone if I need to. That's right. Well, why don't we take another caller? Yes, why don't we? All right, caller, you're on the shell. I'm planning to visit... The Isle of the Sacred Mountain. I'm interested in the catacombs, but I'm afraid to travel there alone because of the rumor that a new horror has taken up residence there. Hassan, you are well traveled. Do you know what it is? I can tell you the only thing that's taken residence that I hear in your voice caller, and that's fear. Fear of pushing past your boundaries, fear of the unknown. There's always going to be some danger around the corner. There's always going to be some insurmountable thing that you have to face. There's one time. I was out in the deepest jungles, and I was bored an ancient Nazi sub. And there were these creatures that you wouldn't believe. And I, I thought that my surrogate father figure had died. And in fact, he was just working with Gabriel Roman. You need to stand up to those things. I mean, there was one time when I was attacked by time rippers. When I was the janitor aboard a, a spacecraft, and I used to be a mighty space captain. And I'll tell you something. There. That's not important. The important I'm thing... I'm pretty sure I've heard the story before. Nah, right? it's not important. I thought it was someone else. I, I wear many disguises and do many things. But I, I need you to understand that I wouldn't be able to do those things, caller, if I had not, in fact, taken the risk and gone out there. There will be dangers around every bend. But it is up to us to go out there and face them down. Whether it's the mundane every day, or if it's the philosophical questions that drive us. Yes, and keep on sailing till morning. That's not helpful. I'm so. I, I was my catchphrase, I thought. All right, let's take another call. All right, another call. Ram, you can't cheat death forever. There is no safe game option in real life. Who is this guy that keeps calling? You know, keeps breaking the fourth wall with referring to us as a game. I, mean, I know. Maybe you know. Maybe it's figurative. Maybe he's just talking about the uh, um, the the fourth wall of life. The game of life. You can't cheat death forever, it's true. But I plan on living out all my days. All my days with my family. You have friends. A, you have a great family, sire. That's right. What do, you, what do you mean? You had a knowing wink in your face. I, when, I just... I had an itch. Okay. I'm going to ignore that. All right. Next caller. Hello? Yes, this is Dragon. I just wanted to show you my appreciation for airing the Aukies, Armors, and Jewelry commercial. Ever since it aired, many of the knights that have come to vanquish me have been wearing my... <laughs> ...favorite brand of armor. Oh, so delicious. Thank you. Let me tell you something, you smug dragon. I defeated the great dragon in Silmaria. Was that you? I can defeat Dragonfire again. And don't think I'll hesitate. So you stay off this line, and you stop threatening lives out there, because I'll come and I'll find you. Pretty sure that was St. George. No, no, say no, no, sire. Was that a different dragon slayer? Yes, oh, I... Huh? St. George is the patron of my talisman. St. George, patron of the light, who hunts the shadows of the night. Upon thy blood I call thee now, purify me, for I avow to set my feet upon thy road. Thy sword I take up for thine own. Oh, well, that's beautiful poetry. Where would you learn that? It's an oath I took, sire. An oath. Wait, you took that oath? Yes, I wear many costumes and do many things. By the way, sire. Yes? Only the purest here may pass. He whose heart is pure as glass. He whose soul is pure as fire. Through this portal passes higher. Uh, well, that's, that's also very beautiful. Yes, it's, uh, it's uh, carved 
above the lintel in uh, in my library. Oh, well, that's a very nice thing to put in your library. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Well, let, why don't we take another caller? Well, actually, black cats and, and, and also rats in some circumstances are very helpful. Uh, in many cases, um, like, for example, if a cat were to run under a fence and leave a little bit of cat hair and you were to put that on a piece of tape... I've done that, yes. You've, you've done that? Read, you've read my journal. Oh, my goodness. And, yes, and then you take the tape and some syrup and you make a mustache. It's a great way, especially around the holidays, to make a disguise to get into a place that you would normally not have access to. You know, kids, I, I am sorry. Uh, the king's daughter is a fine fine woman. I, I, I know that she didn't mean offense. I would suggest you come down to the docks. Uh, there are plenty of cats and plenty of rats, and you can take as many as you like back home with you. Well, that's a good hobby. And a good way to get out of, rid of all those cats and rats. That's true. Frederick's not back yet. I'll be, I'll be back. You know what? Check check the uh, the pantry cupboard in the uh, in the downstairs kitchen. You know, the thing was, I, 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 he, he had a friend visiting. Uh, from Jamaica, and uh, his Jamaican friend said he he heard a noise out back. He was going to check it out. He'd be right back. Oh, that's not a good sign. Yeah. Whenever someone says they'll be right back, yeah. usually around this time of year. Right. They know anyway, that. let's. Oh, let's, okay. All right. All right. Commercial break. Hey there, you hunks of meat. This is Black Widow. And you are listening to the Hassan and Graham Show on 55.5 P.O.G.D. During holiday season, many of you travel to see family and loved ones. Why not check it out this year and visit the realm of the day? China shop? We have, and so can you, with a trip to Falderal in the land of Eldritch. The old cliché simply isn't true. Fernando moves around gracefully, caring for the items and ensuring the best quality. He will help you find the perfect gift for that special someone for any occasion. Das Bones Club is seeking new members to join its ever-decreasing population. A year-long membership includes daily access to a multi-course buffet, a full-service bar, and memorable clientele. The Bone Boy Band and the Grim Reapers are frequent musical acts that liven up the grim atmosphere. Stop by and see us. Our Bloody Marys are to die for. <laughs> 